Hi friends. So let's carry on with our series of lectures on algebraic identity. So far we have discussed, you know, uh, algebraic identities with the binomial terms. For example, we talked about a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus twice ab and then we also discussed about a plus b cube and all that, right? So here basically we discussed identities related to binomials. What is a binomial? Binomial is an algebraic expression carrying only two terms, right? So these are all binomials. Now we are going to discuss trinomials and especially the square of a trinomial, right? So if you can see here, a plus b plus c is a tri trinomial because there are three terms. Three terms algebraic expressions are called trinomials, all right? Why? Because tri, tri means three. Now, three terms. Now, what is this identity? So what will be the expression here? Let us try to use our previous knowledge of algebraic identities using binomials to find this out. So if you see, a plus b plus c can be written as a plus b plus c, isn't it? Within brackets, right? Now, a plus b plus c whole square can be written as, within brackets, a a plus b plus c and this is whole square now if you club these two together and treat this as let us say capital a and treat this as capital b so within brackets actually the identity is something like this isn't it where a is equal to small a and capital b is equal to b plus c right now we know this expansion and it's written over here so hence it is nothing but a square plus twice a b plus b square isn't it so let's use the same identity here so what do we get we get a square plus 2 times a times b plus c plus b plus c whole squared correct so let's simplify it by opening all the brackets and multiplication. So hence it is 2 times AB plus 2 times AC plus B square plus 2BC plus C squared. Isn't it? So B plus C square again can be expanded using the same identity. Now if I keep all the square terms together, we will get A square plus B square plus C square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca this is what the identity we will get at the end right so hence what do we see a plus b plus c whole square is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca isn't it so keep this in your mind now the next question is we got a plus b plus c whole square, isn't it? But what if, if it is something like a minus b plus c whole square, right? So if you see, b is not a positive quantity, here it is a negative quantity. So answer is pretty simple. Wherever you find b, you can replace it, b minus b. So this particular identity can be written as a plus minus b plus c whole square, isn't it? So wherever you see b, in this identity you change that to minus b so hence we will get a square plus minus b square plus c square plus 2 times a times minus b plus 2 times minus b times c plus 2 c a if you notice i have just written down this one again with b replaced with minus b now you simplify it is nothing but a square plus b square because square of a negative term is also a square positive square now this will become minus 2ab minus 2ab then minus 2bc plus 2ca so you don't need to remember all these uh, different varieties we'll see others as well for example a plus b minus c whole square can be written as a plus b plus minus c whole squared. So you can replace c by minus c in the same identity and you will get 
ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस सी होल स्क्वायर प्लस टू टाइम्स ए बी प्लस टू टाइम्स बी टाइम्स माइनस सी प्लस टू टाइम्स माइनस सी टाइम्स ए एंड सिंप्लीफाइंग यूल गेट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वाइस ए बी माइनस टू बी सी माइनस टू सी ए सो वेर एवर इन द twice a uh, twice terms wherever 2 is there wherever you also see c you replace it by minus sign that's that's what we have observed here the square terms are not touched only where there is a c it will get replaced by minus c can you see that right another could be let us say it is minus a plus b plus c now you must be knowing already so it will be nothing but minus a whole squared Plus b square plus c square plus two times minus a times b plus two times b c plus two times c times minus a, isn't it? So if you see, this is nothing but a square plus b square plus c square minus twice a b plus two b c minus two c a, right? So all these varieties, different variations you can tackle. Now you know uh, there could be. uh it, it, it could be all minus a minus b minus c as well or it could be terms like a minus b minus c whole square now again you don't need to mug up the formula what you need to do is simply replace b by minus b and c by minus c so hence it is simply minus b square plus minus c square plus twice a minus b plus twice b minus c plus twice minus c times A. Hence the final expression: a square plus b square plus c square minus twice a b minus two b c. And sorry, this is minus two a b. There is minus b over here as well. So hence it will be plus two a b minus two b. Uh, sorry, not plus two a b. It will be minus two a b only plus two b c and minus two c a. Isn't it? So hence there could be a variety of it. You just need to remember only one, this one. And as I told you, wherever you see a minus sign, you replace it by, you replace b by minus b or c by minus c or a by minus a, and you'll get the desired identity. Now, if you see how many terms are there in this trinomial expansion, there are six terms. Six terms in this trinomial, trinomial, trinomial expansion. Now. If you see, let us first again write this once again. A plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab plus two bc plus two c a, isn't it? Now, if let us say c is equal to zero, if c is equal to zero, what will happen? LHS will be a plus b plus zero whole square, which is nothing but a plus b whole square only. And let us see if the RHS matches with our known identity. So hence, RHS will be a square plus b square plus zero square plus two a b plus two b into zero plus two into zero into a, which is nothing but a square plus b square plus twice a b. So if you see, the trinomial identity is reduced to the binomial identity, isn't it? So hence, this is another way to look at it. So we will be solving problems on the expansion of trinomial identity in the next session.